سلام علیکم کو زیری سبزے موتاست پر پروگرام عارفائی سپیشل کی ہر کھلے وائیو اتشتمہ مئی دا پاکستان پر دفاعی تاریخ کی دا یادوانی ورڈ و رزدہ دا دیو رزی پر مناسبت سرا پر اسلام آباد کی سینٹر انٹرنیشنل اسٹریڈیجک اسٹریڈیز لارخا دا گول میز کمفرنس تابیہ اسوا چپکے شریک و خلقو دا پاکستان دا اٹمی پروگرام او مزائل نظام پا اڑا دا خیالاتو سرگندون او کڑا پا دی گول میز کمفرنس کی دا نیشنل کمانڈ اتارٹی سلحکار لیپٹین جنرل ریٹائر خالد احمد قدوائی مہم وینا او کڑا تو ای دا اتشتم مئی اٹمی اہمیت پا دا گکڑو او وی ویل دا نیوکلیر ٹیس کنڈکٹڈ بائی پاکستان بلین سائنٹس این انجینئرز آن دیس ٹو ڈیٹس ریپیزنٹ دی فرم اسٹیبلشمنٹ آف اسٹریٹیک بیلنس ان ساؤت ایشیا ویش ٹل دن ہے ڈیلیوڈ ویڈ پاکستان ہا کووٹ نیوکلیر کیپیبلیٹی ہوس جرنی ہیڈ سٹارٹر ان نائنٹین سیمٹی ٹو ویڈ ناو اناؤنس ٹو دا ورلڈ ایٹ لارج ایز ان اوورٹ نیوکلیر کیپیبلیٹی سپیشلی فور دی بینیفیٹ آف آر ایڈورسری ان دا ایسٹ ٹو ریجسٹر ان پونڈر اوور دی امپلیکیشنز ارائزنگ آؤٹ آف دی ریسٹوریشن آف دی ریلیٹیو کنونشنل ایسیمیٹری لیپٹیننٹ جنرل ریٹائر خالد احمد قدوائی دا پاکستان اٹمی سفر پا دو برخ کی تقسیم کرو چیو دور دا اتیشت مائی نول سوا اتنوی دے او بل دور دا دینا پستے لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹرمن ون یو لک بیک ایڈ دا ہسٹری آف پاکستان نیوکلیر پروگرام سنس دا فیمس ملتان میٹنگ آف نیوکلیر سائنٹس کال بائی پریزیڈنٹ زلفکار علی بھٹو You might discern a very clear line of separation between two eras of 26 years each. Nuclear program in the pre-28th, 30th, May 98 era, and then the nuclear program in the post-28th, 30th, 30th, May 1998 era. <clears throat> What was achieved by the celebrated Pakistani scientists and engineers in the pre-28th, 30th, May 1998 era, 26 years to be exact, and specifically in those two historic days, was the culmination of a heroic, committed, and dedicated national scientific and engineering effort, underwritten by a consistently fierce political will, commitment, and national resolve at the government levels, irrespective of the politics of the day, to make Pakistan a nuclear weapons power. Pakistani, Pakistanis may or may not have eaten grass, But the galaxy of Pakistani scientists and engineers through their successful experiments demonstrated to the world on those two days a basic Pakistani nuclear weapons capability as they responded in style to the Indian nuclear tests of 11th and 30th, 13th May 1998. On the other hand, the post-nuclear test era from May 1998 onwards, again 26 years to be exact, for which Allah Almighty chose some of us to carry forward the good work of the scientists, represents the full operationalization, consolidation, and the securing of Pakistan nuclear capability, physically and diplomatically, according to the policy of credible minimum deterrence initially, and then subsequently the policy of full spectrum deterrence. The National Command Authority, Salaka, Lieutenant General Khalid Ahmed Khadwai, the Strategic Plan Division, Jodawalo, دا دی اہمیت او خدمات و پبارہ کے ناس تو خلق و توئے چی دی اٹمی طاقت جوڑے دونا پس دا دا نوی تقاضو پا مطابق دا پر مختق پلا دا نوی تک شہرو اسوا تو بگن ویت دی نیکس چیلنج ٹرنڈ انٹو ان اپرچونٹی واز براڈلی دا ورک انڈرٹیکن ان دی سیکنڈ ایرہ پار ایرہ ویچ از بیسٹ آن دی ارلی ایڈنٹیفیکیشن این کنسپشن آف ایویجن ان دیر آفٹر on seven main segments and a few additional supporting ones. All moving in parallel because most of the work was interlinked. These when gradually integrated into one wholesome force and being as a trial services strategic capability, a term that I learned from my naval friends at the War College was to based on elements of credibility of the capability as well as the minimum numbers of weapons assessed which would duly radiate the strategic effects of deterrence, of aggression on the large military machine of our adversary. And mind you, no staff college or war college prepares one for the challenge of conceiving and developing an operationalized national nuclear capability. No ready DS solutions. All of these had to be based on our best professional judgments and on-job learning. These seven main elements, each of which was a challenge of sorts, were 
One, the establishment of an institutionalized nuclear command control structure comprised, comprising of a national command authority, the NCA, the strategic plans division, the SPD, as a one window secretariat, and the three trial services strategic forces in the field to handle the national nuclear capability. <clears throat> This was based straight on the approval that had been accorded to our initial paper that had been presented to the COS and subsequently to two other forums of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee, the JCSC, and the National Security Council, the NSC. Two, the conception of a national nuclear policy with a specific vision of where Pakistan nuclear capability ought to be for at least a decade beyond the scientific experiments of May 98, say by the year 2010. This was based on the classic military methodology of assessment of the likely geopolitical and strategic environments in the coming decade. The nature of the evolving threat with an eye on strategic developments across the border and own technical, operational and financial capabilities and capacities. Three, based on the foregoing assessments, translation of the national nuclear policy or vision into a robust force development strategy for the raising equipping, housing, and training of the three trial services strategic forces as the end users as per the then approved policy of credible minimum deterrence. Four, in line with the force development strategy, the real-time sweat and hard labor by the strategic organizations to de develop and deliver in adequate numbers in tangible terms the wherewithal of a variety of nuclear weapons for the three trial services strategic forces to include weapons earmarked as first and second strike capability. <clears throat> Five, conceiving and developing a secure and efficient C4I2SR capability, which stands for command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, information, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The project of conceiving and developing a modern strategic C4I2SR system was a technical and operational challenge. As you might note, the innocent sounding acronym of C4I2SR has eight elements within it, each one of which is a wholesome system in itself to be conceived, developed, tested, integrated, and then fielded within the length and breadth of the nuclear nu infrastructure to provide foolproof command control capability to the NCA, SPD, and the strategic forces. Six, the securing of all of the foregoing elements of Pakistan nuclear capability against all types of external or internal threat under the broader rubric of nuclear security. Salahkar Lieutenant General Retired Khalid Ahmed Kadwai, the Kami Itmi Palasai Zikar Okoro, Awaiwe Chip Nulasawa Atanaviki, the Itmi Tajrube Napas, Mujd Rarawani Lassizipuri, the Parvaktak Dapara, you would recall that due to the worldwide political-military fallout of 9-11, the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan and Iraq, the war on terror, and its severe internal fallout inside Pakistan, nuclear security particularly became a top priority area. Under the shadow of the then prevailing adverse geopolitical environments, including the sharp international focus on the safety and security of Pakistan nuclear weapons and the negative international narrative of the possibility of Pakistan nuclear assets falling into wrong hands, further fueled by hostile adversaries, there was zero margin for error. <clears throat> we realized that in those difficult days, when internal terrorist attacks, particularly against Pakistan's military installations, were being conducted with relative impunity, any incident in the domain of the SPD, however big or small, would be just the opportunity that the international media and our adversaries might be waiting for to blow out of proportion and further the purported myth that Pakistan nuclear weapons were not safe. SPD simply could not afford to assign anything but the highest priority to nuclear security. We therefore invested much time, effort and funds in ensuring that nuclear security of Pakistan's nuclear infrastructure would be as foolproof as was humanly, professionally and financially possible. Salakar Lieutenant General Retired Khalid Ahmed Kadwai for Pakistan ke the Tarhagarai po Dauran ke the Dushmananu Ladakha the Pakistan the Itmi Asasu Parzat the Dushmananu Prabhikande Taskire Sarasara the Pakistan Itmi Waslo Khundi Satalo Paala the Maghribi Likwalano the Likono Zikarhamukuro 
دوی د پاکستان اټمی پروګرام د خوندي ساتلو په اړه د سفارتي حسو ذکر وکړو کونسیکوینټلی ایټ واز کوایټ سیټسفاینګ ټو لرن ایوري وانس ان ا وایل د انفلوئنشل انټرنیشنل وایسز وچ کوډ ویریفای انډیپنډنټلی ٹو دی نیشنل ٹیکٹیکل مینز اور ان ٹی ایمز ڈکلیئرنگ فارملی دیٹ پاکستان نیوکلیئر ویپنز ور ان سیف ہینڈز فار ایگزامپل جسٹ ون کوٹ امنگ دی مینی دیٹ آئی کین ری کال کیم ان ڈیوڈ سینگرز بک کنفرنٹ ان کنسیل اوباما سیکرٹ وارڈز ان سرپرائزنگ یوز آف امیریکن پاور اینڈ ہی روڈ سم ویئر دیٹ دی پروسیس ہیز امپریسڈ ایز ٹو ہاؤ سیریسلی دی پاکستانی اسٹیک نیوکلیئر سیکورٹی پر ہیز مور سیریسلی دین اینی ون ایلس ان دا ورلڈ لیفٹیننٹ جنرل ریٹائر خالد احمد کدوائی د دفاع خود انحصاری پاڑا ہم د خیالات و سرگندونہ اوکڑا اوئی ویل چی فقط دیوی منصوبی د پورا کولو د پارا ہم وقت وسائل او صبر دیر ضروری دے د دوزرا یو کال پا دیسمبر کے دہین د جگڑی د تیارے و د بیانول پر محال حقا اوئیل چی زمش تیارے تا پا قتلوی د برید جرعت ندے کڑے حقا دا تاکتیکی وصلو پا جڑاول کی دا پاکستان دا بریالی تو پا اڑا ہوئیل چی دا پروجا دا ننگوانی پا توگا شورو سویوا امانگس منی ادر سیکس سٹوریز آف آر ٹائمز انڈیجنائزیشن آف دا نیوکلیئر انفرسٹرکچر از ون بگ ون اینڈ دیس از سمتنگ ویچ واز ناٹ این ایس پی ڈی ایفرٹ الون دا سٹوری گوز بیک ٹو دی ارلیس ڈیز آف دا کمنسمنٹ آف پاکستان نیوکلیئر پروگرام بوت دا ایرز دیٹ آئی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ ففٹی ٹو آر ڈی ایرز کیوملیٹیولی are replete with success stories of projects and facilities being developed locally when compelled by sanctions. Perhaps we owe a small vote of thanks to our detractors. Operation Parakram, undertaken by India in the year 2001 and 2002, was a watershed event which impacted SPD's force development strategy. As a consequence of the attack on India's parliament in December 2001, India, never in a hurry to establish the truth, straight away put the blame on Pakistan and deployed its entire military in battle-ready, offensive-ready mode on Pakistan's eastern border. Pakistan too followed suit and carried out operational counter-deployments of its conventional forces. For 10 months, however, India did not pick up the courage to attack Pakistan and withdrew its forces after suffering considerable attrition in the hot desert in men, materials, and reputation. Certainly, a contributory factor for india getting deterred was in no small measure because of pakistan's nuclear capability the milli command the parmaktagunu salakar the mukhtasar awgdo fasilo to gandayo the system the chamtu kawlo paada wail chi hind the pakistan the mukhtalifo itmi waslo lakhwa po bashpad atoga zapal sawai de nevertheless we took the decision the rest is history SPD and its organizations identified the scope of the variety of work that needed to be done and got on with it. The eventual outcome was the Nasser short-range multi-tube weapon system with appropriate nuclear yields and range to fully cover the bridgehead battles of India's independent uh, battle groups and follow-on forces. The smaller weapons required plutonium as fissile material. Therefore, the required numbers of plutonium-producing reactors and reprocessing plants were constructed at the fastest pace possible. Astute nuclear diplomacy ensured the required time in terms of years was made available. By 2011, a little over a decade since May 98, we had reached a point in our force development strategy when we felt confident enough to transit Pakistan's nuclear policy from credible minimum deterrence to full spectrum deterrence. During the period of this decade plus, with the development of a variety of ballistic missiles, the tactical nuclear weapon Nasser, together with a family of highly accurate low-flying cruise missiles, Baba and Rad, for a variety of land, air, sea, and undersea platforms, the long-range Shahin 3 with a range of 2750 kilometers, the Ababil with a multiple independently targeting re-entry vehicle MERV capability. By 2011, the entire spectrum of nuclear weapons was covered, horizontally and vertically. India's vast eastern and southern geographical dimensions, including its outlying territories, were therefore fully covered by Pakistan's various nuclear weapons. Lieutenant General Retired Khalid Ahmad Kadwai, the Hindi Wazir Azam Narendra Modi, and the Baharanayu Char Wazir Ajay Shankar, the Dadakayu Bayanuna, Siyasi Bayaniya, and Fareeb Ugarzawal. 
هغه ویل چې د هند پوز د پاکستان له قوی اټمی توان څخه مایوسه دی ابینندن په روستی زل چې هغه د هندی ترهګرو د تعقیب په بهانه پاکستان تراغه دلته ورته یو خوندور چای ورکل سوا In my opinion dynamic response strategy is a clear reflection of the limits and constraints imposed by Pakistan's robust nuclear capability on India's strategic and operational options and therefore my preference to call Pakistan strategic weapons especially the tactical nuclear weapons as weapons of peace when seen against the reality of the gradual erosion and regression of India's politico military options in the real world of today's south asian strategic balance To me it sounds comical and a bit quixotic to hear India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh threatening that India will chase infiltrators inside Pakistani territory and for the born again Hindutva Foreign Minister Jay Shankar to say that Pakistan nuclear capability should be ignored while planning to take Azad Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan such statements at the highest political levels can only fall in the category of political rhetoric and bluster born out of the frustration of seeing one of the world's largest militaries standing deterred because of Pakistan's robust nuclear capability. They forget the fantastic tea that was served to Abhinandan the last time the Indians came chasing terrorists inside Pakistan. The National Command Authority Salahkar, Lieutenant General Retire Khalid Ahmed Kadwai, the CISS for Goal Mace Conference ke Dakhpal Vaina Pakhiri Barkha ke the Makh Parudhi Technology of the Talla Sakawolo pa Aada the Pakistan Daha Suzikar I've also been asked to give my views on the future trajectory of the nuclear program. I would like to say that there are extremely competent and professional people at the SPD who have a vision of the future trajectory of Pakistan nuclear program. They are very well versed with the nature of threat and the obtaining geopolitical environments as these exist today and as these are likely to take shape in the future. I have no doubt that they will not only protect the program but also by extension protect Pakistan against all threats and will therefore take the best decisions about the future trajectory in the best interests of Pakistan security. I have full faith in all my successors who were and are top professionals and who have contributed immensely in taking Pakistan nuclear capability from strength to strength. We owe them all our gratitude and may Allah bless them all. Katun ko da Pakistan itmi program pa sima ki da taqat da tawazun bar qara saatalu da para deir zoruri de. د دې پروګرام له لارې موږ هڅې کړې چې د دې سره تړلې او د دې دفاعي پروګرام په کامیابۍ کې څوک شریک شوي وو د هغوی دغه پرمغز خبرې موږ تاسو سره شریکې کړې چې د پاکستان د دفاعي پروګرام په اړه د خبرتیا خواهشمندو خلکو ته به د دې نه مهم معلومات ترلاسه شوي وي په راروان کې به هم موږ دا سلسله دغه شانې جاري ساتو تر هغې پورې په عارفای سپیشل کې موږ ته اجازه راکوي د الله په امان